Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video I'm going to talk about Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 which was just announced by uh, Qualcomm and this is the successor to the flagship Snapdragon 835 that we find in almost every flagship Android phone. So this 845 will be the flagship for 2018 uh, Android phones and it's still an octa-core processor just like the Snapdragon 835 and uh, it's again divided into two, two parts uh, that is two quad cores. One is the powerful quad core that is based on the arm cortex a75 and the other quad core which is more power efficient is based on the arm cortex a55 architecture and this also comes with a new gpu that is the adreno 630 gpu and according to qualcomm they are claiming about 25 to 30 percent improvement in terms of performance and also in terms of power efficiency that is uh, these chips are supposed to consume about 20 to 30 percent less power compared to the Snapdragon 835 counterparts. It's still uh, being built on the Samsung's uh, 10 nanometer architecture. This is the most efficient as of now. So they'll be built on that. And apart from that, uh, they also have a new improved DSP. That is the Hexagon 685. And this will help this chip in better image processing. Uh, they say that artificial intelligence processing is about 3x faster, which is a new big buzzword because Apple with its A10 Bionic chip is doing that. So so they claim that uh, with photographs that uh, do artificial bokeh, for example, the pixel does that and even face unlocking features like that can be accomplished a lot better with this chip thanks to this hexagon 685 uh, chipset that it has. And it also has a new, or what do you say, spectra image signal uh, processor. And they say that due to this, uh, uh, it can process 10 bit color. So the uh, pictures will have a lot more depth. Again, it depends upon manufacturer to manufacturer to implement these processes uh, but this is provided by the chip also in terms of slow motion they Qualcomm was claiming that it can do uh, slow motion up to 480 frames per second but this is at 720p so ultra slow motion uh, stuff can be accomplished and other than this uh, the Snapdragon 835 also supported 4k video playback uh, even with HDR but the Snapdragon 845 uh, will allow you to record 4K uh, HDR video thanks to that 10-bit color. So again, these are some of the improvements that you can expect. And apart from that, uh, again, uh, depth photography that the pixel does should be a lot easier on this. And uh, uh, this will also support Quick Charge 4. That is called Qualcomm Quick Charge 4 and this will also be compatible with the USB P uh, standard and uh, according to Qualcomm again these are theoretical uh, figures guys they say that with Qualcomm Quick Charging 4 a device can be charged up to 50% in 15 minutes again these are theoretical figures but again this is what they say and also in terms of uh, what do you say uh, this chipset will support 5G speeds and also it has improved uh, Wi-Fi that is it will support the Wi-Fi AD standard if the vendor actually wants so gigabit Wi-Fi speeds are supported on the chip and again it has improved Bluetooth 5 uh, support so it can simultaneously actually broadcast to two Bluetooth de uh, devices for example uh, with Apple these are the Apple ear ports that we have and Apple uses a proprietary chip these ear ports uh, again actually uh, with the Apple iPhones uh, get signal each individually on uh, these uh, ear pods. Generally, with many of the Android, uh, what do you say, counterparts, uh, Bluetooth headsets, uh, the Bluetooth signal is just sent to one and it's uh, transmitted by that. But with this one, they can independently transmit to both. Uh, so again, that is possible with this uh, chipset. Again, it's up to the vendors to enable this functionality. So improved Bluetooth 5 functionality. So overall, uh, improved chip again in terms of raw performance they are saying that you should see about according to them about 25 percent more improvement and also power efficiencies between 20 to 25 percent we will be seeing this chip in uh, flagship smartphones that will be coming out in uh, 2018 xiaomi has already announced that their next 
uh, flagship uh, phone. Hopefully, the Mi 7 will have uh, this Snapdragon 845. We know that uh, Samsung is going to launch the S9 early this time. They're going to announce it sometime early in February. And I'm assuming one of the variants will have the Snapdragon uh, 845. So guys, what do you think about the Snapdragon 845 uh, chipset? Do share your thoughts in the uh, YouTube comment section below. I'm actually just waiting for the Snapdragon 660 uh, devices to come to the market. This is a mid-range chip, but it's going to be very powerful. So I'm still waiting for those devices to launch in India. But again, do let me know what do you think about the Snapdragon 845 in the comment section below. And if you're still not subscribed to this YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.